Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. And as I said in one of my last videos, I was going to be bringing one of my wigs, actually the human hair wig, down to this wonderful stylist who actually specializes in wigs, extensions, and you also have a regular salon, right? Correct. Regular yes. hair salon. So this is Kendra, and I am at the wig parlor in Hampstead. Welcome, New Monica. Hampshire. So Kendra, tell me, tell me all about why why are you doing wigs? What what brought you onto this journey? Well, I have been in the beauty business for 23 years, and I am noticing more and more women struggling with hair loss. Also, just clients coming to me, you know, that I've known for a long time, you know, um, going through something with their life. Maybe it's you know chemotherapy, or they've developed alopecia. And then, you know, usually when you have hair loss, one of the first people you're going to go to is your hairstylist. Right. And I got frustrated not having the answers for them. So then, um, you know, I opened my salon back in 2011, and, and then I opened the wig parlor in 2020. Okay. And that's where I've, you know, launched the wig business here. And up, upstairs in the private studio where we are right now is where I consult and do private hair loss consultations. And here we decide what their solution is going to be. And what is the name of your salon downstairs? It's Parlor Beauty, okay. located in Hampstead, New Hampshire. And then right upstairs from Parlor Beauty is the wig parlor. Wonderful. And I, I'll tell you, I have been, as many of you know, right, my thinning hair, I'm going to be 70. I can't believe I'm going to be 70 mm -hmm. in February. That, like, freaks me out to think that. But, you know, on this journey, especially when my mom started to really lose a lot of her hair, one of the things that I always felt, and I really struggled to try to overcome that, is I believe there's a stigma at times attached mm -hmm. to the word wig. Sure. You know? Yeah. And, yeah. um... It's like people don't want to admit they're wearing alternate hair or, right. you know, yeah. enhancements. Sure. enhancements. Yeah. But we have no problem talking about eyelashes. Yeah. We have no channel. Exactly. Or people having, you know, Botox or different, yeah. different skin things or plastic surgery. Or even nails. Right? You want to wear nails? Exactly. Well, yeah. So why yeah. is it when, when, you know, you're talking about alternate hair that people are like, I yeah, shy about it or... Exactly. I, and that's what I do up here. I really try to you know, bring back the fashion with wig wearing too. That it doesn't have to just be for being sick or just, you know, something that, that you should be shameful about. Like, you know, yep. wearing wigs is glamorous. It's fun. It's all the, and what's the difference if it's, I have full head of extensions in my hair right now. There's no different, this is alternative hair. There's really, to me, there's no difference of a wig that you need some coverage on top or if you just want a little bit of length. It's fun. It's about being a woman and, and the beauty part of it. And if it makes you feel good, then do it. Oh, my gosh. It does make me yeah. feel good when I wear alternate hair. I started on uh, wearing toppers. So I wear mm -hmm. very small toppers. I mean, and in some of my previous videos, I've talked about the different topper sizes and base sizes. So I mine is like three by two. It's very, very small, mm -hmm. the base size. And that's really how I started. And then I would wear, um, in my earlier videos, and I, I'm looking at my, my subscribers out there because some of them have been with me for years and they know I started to wear, I call them the fake buns. Oh, and yeah. I would go and get the Almost little Almost like a fake, stretchy? Exactly. Yeah. I'd wrap it around my short hair and i pull my hair up. And then I loved that look. I always yeah. loved the look of my hair being up. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how I was, because... I have a wide face and I've been pulling my hair off my face, made my face look better, you know. But I always loved that. I thought it was a wonderful way to just feel better and to look better in many ways. Feel more and, dressed up. Yeah. And, yeah. And to me, it's like, why Why does it like have to be a secret? Why is Why is there a stigma? I never thought that. Right. Know? Yeah, I Type agree. So, and I think the more we talk about it and share about it, 
more people get open to it. Right. And yeah. I think here, what you have here, I think this is a hidden gem. Thank so you. for anyone, any of you, and I know I have some people that you know are in Southern New Hampshire and in Northern Massachusetts that watch, and even Maine. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of a few people that I've met up with already. Mm -hmm. So if you're local and you just want to explore hair options, yes, then you have to make an appointment. Yeah. Come down here, we can, you know, and I have lots of different solutions here. The wigs, toppers, halos, um, you name it. I try to, and sometimes they're just little clipping bags. Sometimes you just need just a little bit. You can start with what, you, what makes you feel comfortable. And just knowing that there are solutions out there, also people struggling for, with hair loss, they just feel better knowing, I, I have a plan. Right, exactly, you know? exactly. Yeah. And even if you don't have hair loss, you know, with the price, and I know you have a salon, but with the price of, you know, getting your hair done all the time, getting your roots done, getting mm -hmm. a perm, getting, you know, all the process, it can actually be way more affordable <laughs> yes. to slap a wig on, you know, especially yes. for me, like, if I need to touch up my grace, yeah. right? Um, put. I put my topper on, you can't see it. I put my I put a wig on and you can't you can't Absolutely. See it. Yes. So. Yes, it can be a quick fix too if you yeah. don't have time to get into the salon. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So it can save wear and tear on your hair. And on also a wedding or you're going to be a, in, you know, a photo shoot. If you just want to have a little bit more, um, you know, a, a halo. Um, or your topper can really glam up your look for a photo shoot yeah. or your wedding day or whatever special event you might have coming up. I think yeah. I think it's really big with brides. Oh yeah, I've yes. seen so many brides, and they're you know they're posting the wigs that they're wearing or the extensions that they have on. It's, mm -hmm. it's really amazing. So. And you really can style a wig previous to your wedding day. You know, I can I'll, I'll do that for for brides, and then that day you just get to put that wig right on. You don't have to spend two hours in the hair salon or whatever it is on your special day, you can right. spend that time doing something else. If you're wearing a wig, you can have it all ready. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I just love the fact that this service exists here in Hampstead. Thank you, Local, Monica. you know, yeah. I mean, that to me is like so amazing. And I think that so many women really need that help. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and the fact that you're up here and it can be private. Yeah. Because sometimes walking into a salon and, mm -hmm. and you know, or whatever, and, and um, you know, people are there with all this beautiful hair and there you have hardly any, but here it's private. Yes. You know, it's like a safe environment, which to me is just, it's just really awesome. Yeah. A lot of women will come up here, have a glass of wine, have their girlfriend or their friends or whoever is, you know, can give them... Like, I like that one on you. Give them that encouragement, too. Right. A lot of people will bring a friend to just um, share the experience with, too. And then they have a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah I can imagine fun up just here. giving someone to give them, a, you know, an opinion because those people know them. Yes. So one of the things that I wanted to ask you about, because I think that this is a, no matter where people purchase their alternate hair from, if you are used to having very little and you put that wig on or that mm -hmm. topper on the very first time. I always tell people, you know, when I first put something on my head, I feel like Bozo, you know, mm -hmm. ah, all of this hair, right? you know, and it's overwhelming. And so, I mean, there's somebody I was talking to not too long ago that bought this beautiful wig. It's been in her closet for over a year in the box because mm -hmm. she put it on and she was just blown away by all that hair and just couldn't do it. Sure. But there's ways to make hair that you buy be your hair you know oh, yeah customize it yeah absolutely yeah and that's definitely um something i specialize up here too if someone purchases a wig with me i'm going to customize it to really make it feel their haircut it's designed for them so if it needs thinning texturizing more layers the bangs a little bit different um you know i can i can make that happen for them i want them to walk out with it on with 100% confidence. So that's what I, I love doing that. I love even bringing that wig to life for that person. See, and I, I think so many people don't understand that those are the options that are out there that's available. Mm -hmm. You don't have to put it back in the box and say, oh, I, I can't, you know? Yeah. You don't have to be intimidated by it. There are 
you know, with the, with the right stylist that knows how to work with wigs, will know how to make that wig work for you. And that to me is the whole key, finding a stylist that will work with your wigs, because I don't think every stylist feels comfortable. Correct. Yeah. Because they know if they do something, it's not going to grow back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. if you cut it yeah. short or whatever, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's not going to grow back. And it's a whole so. different way of cutting, especially if it's not human hair. You know, you cut a synthetic wig right. differently with different tools, different scissors and, mm -hmm. and techniques. It's definitely a um, specialized hair cut. Oh, that's different than just your. I hair ended up hair buying um, scissors that I could thin mm -hmm. in a little cheek. Oh yeah, you call yeah. Them. And um, and I had a couple of wigs that I really wanted to thin out. This was several years ago, and I just I, I could not figure out how to use those. <laughs> I would watch YouTube videos yeah. on it, and then I was I was afraid, so I ended yeah. up. You know, um, and one little wrong little snip can exactly can change the whole thing. Exactly, put a dent in it almost. Exactly. Can, yeah. So you definitely want to know what you're doing before you play with scissors, or bring it to the right person because you don't want to uh, ruin your investment of your your alternative hair either. Right. You know? right. So you want to make sure whoever's doing it um, does a good job for you. Yeah. yeah. Especially the human hair pieces mm -hmm. because oh my gosh, they they can be pretty pricey. Right. Absolutely. So you're going to do a human hair on Yeah, I'm excited about that. Well, this is the, yeah. those of you that watched the video I uploaded, by the time you see this, it'll probably be a week later. Um, I would have uploaded it last week, and it was the review on the human hair piece called from a company called Wig She. Mm -hmm. And um, I am not a fan of the color. I think it's too ashy for me and style. So Kendra's going to tackle, I think, cutting yeah. it and maybe curling it and seeing what we can create. And we'll film some of it for yeah. sure so you can see it and then you'll see the, the end result. Yeah, we'll so. do some before and afters with it too. Yeah, yeah that's going to be fun. Yeah, I yeah. think that'll be really fun. So what what are your, your, um, your plans, your growth plans for your business? For my business? Um, well, you're a mom, right? Yeah. Maybe you're married yeah. and you have uh, two kids? I have one daughter. She's ten. Yeah. Um, and then I have the you know the salon downstairs as well. So I would say my goals for my business is really just branching out, and I really would love to work with other um, hairstylists, other salons, and do some kind of collaboration. That it's it's not just my salon. I want to help other people, other hairdressers. I was that hairdresser that didn't know where to send my hair loss clients to. Yeah. So I'd love to really have some kind of collaboration with other hairstylists that it's, you know, that I'm their resource if they're, if they don't know where to right. send their clients. Right. So I'm really going to work on some kind of, um, plan with that and, and trying to figure out how I can, can make that happen with my networking, you know? Well, when I came out, I met you for the very first time. You, you ended up um, in the hair product. Do you want to talk about that? Sure. A little yeah. Bit? Because yeah. I mean, that's a great solution, I think, for somebody, right? Yes. This is a good starter. I always tell people, you know, if you have hair loss and you're not doing anything to help, then you're really not helping yourself, right? It would be like if you had acne and you're not using the proper face wash and tools to take care of it. What a great way of putting it. Yeah, and or like, I love to use this one too. One of my friends gave me this little analogy. But you know, if you wanna have beautiful roses, you have to start with the soil. And so like the gardening analogy, I love that. So this is really going to help with your soil, which is your scalp. Right. And that's where it all needs to start. We all are kind of think, oh, our hair, but um, really taking care of the scalp when you have hair loss is very important. And that can just be as simple as switching your shampoos and conditioners and then using a, top, a topical serum and really stimulating your scalp. You know, that's like bringing blood to the surface, giving your head a nice massage because the blood to the surface is bringing all those nutrients to those hair follicles. And that's what the, these that's products the here. Thing. Yes, yeah. that little scrub, that little head scrubber is in here. And these products are the Xenogen. And Monica, you've been using this now yeah. for well, probably almost a month, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I put a little date on the bottle and uh, when I started it. Mm -hmm. And so I use the shampoo and the conditioner uh, when I wash my hair. And the interesting thing is you do need to leave the shampoo on 
I, mm-hmm. I now am I doing it the right way? I massage myself before I get in the shower to wash my hair. Right? Sure. Yes. And then I, you know, lather up and I put the shampoo on and then I wait. I shut the shower off or something. Or okay. at the, you know, but I wait about ten minutes. Sure. With the and shampoo on. With the shampoo on. Yeah. Is that is that right? That's right. Yep. Yeah. Then I rinse it off. Now sometimes I I get out of the shower. I finish my body. I get out of the shower. I still have the shampoo on and then I go to the sink in the kitchen. Because okay. I, when I rinse the shampoo off, and then I put the conditioner on, mm-hmm. you want to rinse that off in cool water. Correct. Cold water. Yes. And I don't want to be in the shower with <laughs> I don't cold water. Not, not in New England. So not this time of yeah. year. So that's how I've been doing That's it. great. Yeah. Um, and that is a little different for some people. They say, I don't want to leave it on for that long, or I don't have that much time. Well, you know, if, another little analogy. If you have dry skin, you wouldn't want to just put the lotion off and then rinse it right off. We need to let these products soak into our scalp so we get these nutrients of what these products offer. So spending the extra few, and, and no, not everybody washes their hair every day. I don't wash my so hair every day. So it's no, not no, like no, this no. is something that needs to be done right. every day. It's really every two to three days. Is, I'm, I try average. to go three days. Yeah. Good. So it's yeah. every three days. Um, I like my second day hair, bio hair better than Me my too. first day bio <laughs> yeah. hair. But I do like to uh, I like to go three every three days, and then yeah. when I when I put the conditioner on, I'm only leaving it on for about sixty seconds or two minutes. Sure, at most yeah. I think it says sixty seconds. Yeah, and then you rinse it off with cool, cooler cool water. Cool yes. water. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can do it all you know all different ways. Sometimes I'll I'll plan my hair washing on a day like I'll be shaving or something. So I'm in the shower a little bit longer. Right. So I'm timing it out. So you, you just find a new routine with it. Right. But it's a regimen, just like our skincare, right? We spend the time to do our our cleansers and our toners and our, you know, day creams, night creams, whatever it is, right? right. right. Our serum. So these, this is a hair regimen. And, you know, um, it's the main ingredient is aloe, which is so amazing for our bodies. And internally and externally, and I I find lots of results. I I had a lot of postpartum um, hair loss after I had my daughter, and I've really been able to grow back a lot of my hairline. That I lost a lot of it, and you can lose your hair. It, it depends on stress. It can stress. Be I know. Yeah. Thyroid. COVID. You know, COVID was a huge hair, hair loss. Yeah. So this will help. Um, you know, just give your your scalp the nutrients that it needs to. Uh, to support the hair growth. Now I noticed that there was uh, two um, two different types of this product. Okay, evolve or revolve. Correct. Or, or what is the difference? Okay, you? Can so you say sure. Um, I like to start. If people come to me, I'm having hair loss. We start with revolve. Revolve is the. Um, oh, that's what I'm taking. That's, that's what, what you're doing. doing right now. Yep. And then okay, your hair is growing back. You're really starting to see results. Then we transition you into the evolve because you've now evolved into okay, gotcha. your hair growth. And then the evolve, um, just you, you'd have a leave-in conditioner. You'd have some more styling aids that you can add in, and that just supports healthy growing hair because you're no longer in your shedding or in your hair loss phase. Okay. So usually, I suggest for people maybe like two rounds of revolve. And if we are finding that you're having good results, then we're ready to move into Evolve. So and, it's, and I'm doing the red light therapy too. I, think I, I like that. that. Yeah. yeah. So that's a good thing to use with it as well. Absolutely. And you can use the hair uh, growth serum, the thickening serum that comes in the uh, Revolve kit that you have. Put that on and add your red light um, therapy on top of that because that really will get that product in See, there. I've been doing it the Opposite way, because okay. I didn't know. But yes, I'm mean, no. gonna try it that way. Even yeah. with your face products yeah. too, night serums, use your red light on top of that, it really will help penetrate it into um, your skin. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. See, Liz, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm excited about that um, because I have been, for me, it's been the thinning on the, on the crown area and, um, you know, the hairline. And other than that, I mean, the back of my hair is still thick in many ways, except that it's right here, you know, so I always considered it to be uh, not alopecia, but, um, what is it when the male hairline, you know, when you, when you have a receding hairline. Male pattern baldness. Yes, that's what I would yeah, consider. Yeah, or female pattern baldness, right. you know, um, 
or some women will see their part start to spread. Mm -hmm. You know, just gets the part gets wider and wider. Yeah, seen some so of that. yeah, that you can add in the serums to that and really start to rebuild that that part. So much is exposed with the part too because there's no hair covering that to keep that scalp healthy. So right. it's exposed to. Um, you know, the sun and all of that, that can do a lot of damage too. Wow. This is so informative. I hope you guys are getting something out of it. I am. I'm super excited because I do have a lot of my subscribers, not all of them, some of them, you know, we talk about anti-aging and makeup and uh, everyone's laughing because I just got that new palette. I, I I had to get the Pretty Brunch palette from Huda <laughs> Beauty. I don't know if you've seen that. Oh, I saw your review. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I got that. I love playing with makeup. And I love anything that makes me feel girly and good. And not that it has to be girly because, you know, I, I feel empowered in many ways in my sure. life because I, I work and, you know, I teach and stuff like that. But the things that, that we can do to make us feel good and just even if it just makes me yeah. smile. Sure. You know? So this, I think, is really, I, I'm looking forward to continuing on with this because I know nothing happens overnight those of you that are watching you've heard me say it over and over again consistency long term you have to use something and be very very consistent same thing with retin-a mm -hmm. you know i hate to say it but right now my skin is peeling and um it's peeling because of a few different factors but i'm glad that it's peeling because i feel like i have a little Rejuvenate. bit of a buildup of dead skin sure. you know yeah. let it go so, uh, you know, consistency is key. So yes, that's absolutely. That's going to be big. Yep, okay. you use this, and I would say 60 days you should start to see, like, probably before that, but you really are going to start to notice. Yeah. You know, and taking pictures helps, too, because sometimes our own eyes, we don't see it every day. Right. Um, but having something to look back at, a 30-day mark, right. and really, that's when you're really going to see your results. So taking pictures is always a great way to, yes, to track absolutely. your um Absolutely. You know, your grill. Yeah. And that's why I was, when I, I asked you I, where I could, I'd probably pick up another set sure. or whatever because where we're going to be gone, I don't want to say too much about where we're going because I don't <laughs> like to announce to the whole world, but, um, you know, I want to be able to have access what to What you need. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's so great. I'm going to superimpose a couple of pictures at one point of the salon. Um, Kendra is absolutely beautiful, kind-hearted person. Thank you. I think if you live locally, and even if you don't live locally, I mean, is there a way for you to do consulting remotely? Absolutely. Okay. Yes, we could do that. Yeah. Like, like Zoom calls Zoom or, or FaceTime or whatever whatever you have. I, I have the technology to be able oh, to that's awesome. communicate. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 So I think I think that's a great, great service for many, many of us out there. So I so appreciate yeah. you doing Thank this you. Thing. I know. I'm having so much fun. Yeah, it, it is. is. It is. And I think that you should yeah, this is a beautiful shop. Thank you. So. Thank you. It means a lot. You're you're the expert. <laughs> so I appreciate your time. I mean, too. look at the beautiful hair that you have. <laughs> what what is the brand that you carry the most? I see Renee of Paris. I do a lot of Renee of Paris. Yeah. Um uh, with the extensions and toppers, I use a lot of hair hair top. Is they have human hair toppers that I love, and I have some tape on human hair toppers, which are a really great alternative if people don't want to clip on and off. Yeah. That would be a service that you purchase the topper and you come and visit me every. It really depends on lifestyle, but I would say average about six weeks. Every six weeks, you come in remove the, the topper off and we, we retape it on so that is gives you more of a lived in like you have can have more flexibility if you want to jump in the pool or I have a woman who's a horseback rider wears a helmet the clip-ins you know are more of a temporary option so a tape on topper but I do love the hair top brand for that so I have a couple different suppliers that I work with too so yeah definitely yeah. and I, I just love the way the you know You've got it set up. Even I try to style them to look cute and fun and, you know, realistic with a hat or the, yeah, yeah, I have fun in glasses here. And My daughter comes in too and she'll play with them and reset up their accessories on there. So that's always fun to see what she does. That is awesome. Thank you. And you do a lot of extensions, right? I do a lot of extensions. Yep. That was where I really started with alternative hair was within with the extensions and then it's just grown from there. But, you know, women coming to me for hair loss wanting extensions, but then they're losing it on top. 
that's where then I'm like, oh, I need more options because you can only get extensions. You need to go underneath. Right. And you need a little right. bit of hair to hide them. Yep. Um, so if you don't have that, then that's where I've, you know, expanded my business into different options for people. But the tape on toppers. Yeah. I know the extensions. I've, I've had um, a number of, I don't know if it was Irresistible Me or a number of different toppers, not toppers, extensions. And companies reach out wanting me to review their extensions. Well, mm -hmm. my hair is not conducive to extensions. You know, I, I tried it one time, but you know, I don't have enough volume to really comfortably hide it. Sure. And so It's know. not for everybody. Right. And that's why it's nice to have a lot of different solutions because everybody's hair loss is is unique. Right. Yeah. Options. Options, mm -hmm. options, options. And mm -hmm. you have them all. So. Yes. Super exciting. Yeah. So what do you want to do next? Do you want to... Let's do let's do the haircut. Do the haircut. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna shut this off, and we're gonna rearrange, and um, then we're gonna. I'll probably uh, end up having to do a little bit of fast forwarding because I'm sure it's gonna sure. take a little bit yeah. long time. But um, I'm so excited to yeah. do that. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Okay. Put this new wig on. Okay. <laughs>